Hey, I'm KIC, and this is the ALB Velibit, the advanced luxury base from Dubrovnik Dynamics. Now, giving you a quick bit of an outside tour here, but I also wanted to show you what this looks like compared to that guy. That is the default base, uh, whatever survival creative, creative mode that I'm running. Anyway, this just kind of gives you a bit of an outside look of this thing. We're going to go inside and check it out in just a moment. This is a pretty crazy looking thing. And by the way, I'm not meaning to hate on that guy over there. That's like 37 times better than anything I could do. Uh, this one, I would never come up with this in my wildest dreams. Anyway, I decided to come back and do a few more of these. If you're interested in some Empyreon showcases, I have a few of these going on. I have a couple others. If you're interested in Mass Effect, do check those out. But for now, let's just roll inside here and see what we have going on. We're going to start on the bottom floor, which as you can see, has a nice ramp that extends out. This is obviously going to be our hover vessel hangar here. And I decided just because I wanted to, to place it right on the waterfront. And I haven't really gone inside yet. I, well, I mean, I just did, but you know what I mean, right? So we're going to go check this out and see what things look like. I just, I'm, wow, this is crazy looking. I, I don't even know where to begin. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, this is interesting. I see an oxygen tank, oxygen dispenser rather. Just kind of hanging out in the middle of the floor. That's not going to impact that being used. But check that out. That's a really interesting placement right there. Makes it so that the station is actually only one block high rather than two because you're using the, the floor's base, I mean kind of the hangar base floor, to conceal it. Oh, look at that too. Yeah, it's a cargo box that's been concealed in the floor. That is really interesting. That's a really interesting idea. Check it out. You got one over here too. Wow. Now we'll, we'll take a look at the total listing of stuff in here in a little while. But first off, let's just kind of enjoy everything we've got going on here. We've got an armor locker, a couple of nicely painted white ammo boxes. Now everything has been painted white. Apparently white. A white base is the color of luxury, along with some nice sharp yellow and gray and black contrast. Because that, you know, just, I guess, is the color of luxury. Got a little bit of what looks to be an observation deck right here. It's kind of a shame I didn't rotate this base a little bit so that this would overlook the water a little more, but that's still that's still a pretty view right there. That's pretty nice. I, I really like this. This would be a kind of cool way to just, you know, if you're maybe waiting on something to, to finish building or you're just kind of kicking back and not really doing much, just hanging out in the game, this would be a really cool place to hang out right here. I mean, come on, look at this. You got... A nice view of the landscape. I don't know. I mean, it just, that's, that's pretty cool. Let's go check out what we have going on back here. I, uh, well, I can't move that one out of post. Oh, well. All right. I'm not going to worry about it. Clearly, I placed this whole base a little too low into the ground because you can see I've kind of buried what looks to be about another uh, 18 or so farming plots because we got 18 here, nine and nine. I'm willing to bet you it's 9 and 9. Yeah, my bad. That's just me. I, I, I buried this thing. I have a tendency to do that. I've done the equivalent of what the game does with all the POIs. Got some fridges here. I'm kind of curious if they have anything. Okay, they don't. Never know. I just thought I'd look. Got a food processor down here. Five fridges, it looks like. And looks like we have a door to another area. This is going to be what looks like another hangar bay. So we came in at the front of the base. This, if I'm not mistaken, the hangar bay is right over there. So that puts us behind here. So this should be the back of the base. All right, look at that. The ramp has extended into the ground. That would allow our hover vessel to come right in. Okay, so check that out. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. I like that. That makes a little sense now for what I was seeing with the design because you kind of have this... It's not a double helix. I don't even know what you call it. It's just this kind of double design that... There you go. You got two big hangar bays for your hover vessels, which, I mean, sometimes those are the things you really need more space for because those can be pretty specialized. I mean, I don't know. I mean, you ever try dealing with a mining vessel and then try to convert it into a war machine? Yeah, they, they don't. It's easier to do one rather than the other, you know? I love, I just love some of the lines of this building. Just take a moment here. 
And check out the lines right here. Say, so follow this line of the building with the frame of the glass. Now, obviously, it's not an actual round circle, but just, you know, go with it a little bit. Sometimes you just have to go with it because that's what the game can do. And I love the contrast of this nice hard line, this hard angle going up. And then you see all this stuff kind of reflected in the inside here. Oh, man, this is just really well done. This is this is good. Let's go ahead and take the elevator up rather than take the staircase just for now. We're going to take the stairs in a moment. Oh, yeah, there we go. That is that is good stuff right there. I, that makes me want to take the staircase now just to see where that takes us out to. Oh, my gosh, look at this. You got big sofas, coffee tables, plants everywhere, some tables to work out, some more armor lockers, it looks like. Here's your medic station and your clone chamber. So should you die, you have places to respawn. It looks like back here we're going to have a big kitchen counter, some more storage. Well, okay, maybe not storage. I was thinking one of these might be a, a pantry or something. But no, it looks like we got a couple, got a bathroom and a shower over here. Because, you know, come on. Sometimes you got to wash off the radiation. A couple of tables back here. This could easily, this base could easily hold several people. This is good stuff. A couple of beds. Oh man, this is, this is good. There's not a lot of privacy between the beds, but I mean, come on. It looks good, and that's really the whole point of this thing. Functionality comes second, I assume. Maybe not, maybe I'm wrong. Let's go check out this side. What do we have going on over here? Looks like a lot of cargo boxes. You are an oxygen tank sticking out. That one... Forgive the not exactly pun, but that one sticks out a little for me. I'm guessing it's to kind of follow the line here, if you follow that line. Kind of doing the same thing, stacking it. I think that's probably why. It just... From this side, it looks better than on this side. And there's really not much you can do about that. That's, that's just the way it is. So that would have been the staircase. Had we taken this up, just so you know, that's where we went up right there. That would take us into this floor. Now we still have a staircase as well as an elevator up to another floor. Let's check out over here first. Food processor, fridges. Okay, so some more fridges and a couple food processors. Big cargo boxes over here. There's another one that's buried in the floor. I, I really like the idea of that. It breaks things up in a really interesting way. Visually, it just, it looks very interesting. Bunch more cargo boxes here. Wow, we got a, just stacks of these. These things keep going on up. Constructor, I can only assume you're an advanced constructor. Yeah, would have been surprised if you're not. Now, it looks like, if I pull back here, there's another one in the ceiling. And you can see some cargo boxes, too. So we're going to have more stuff on the top floor, apparently. Another constructor, so another advanced constructor, of course. That makes perfect sense. Why would you why would you not have an advanced constructor in a luxury base? Even this window is interesting to me, because you get these little kind of thin designs. Ah, this is This is so well thought out. This is really good stuff. Let's go on up to the top. At least I I think this might be the top floor. Maybe it's not. Uh, I see stairs. I think that's going to go up a little higher. But this is... this. Well, okay. There, There is going to be a little bit higher, but not a whole lot, I don't think. If we go over here, this is our hangar bay. Now, don't mind the ship in there. That is nothing special, and I mean that quite literally. This is a repair console. We got the Tier 1 generator over here. Repair console, of course, is going to be connected to... Probably that guy, Repair Bay Tier 2. This is, uh, that's one of my designs. That's why it looks so ugly and hideous. It's also a super early game design, as you can tell by the limited weaponry. It's adjustable. You can add, you know, missiles a little later and turn it into a fairly decent warship. Well, against AI, anyway. <laughs> Don't take that one against people. That'd be a bad idea. I think these were the cargo boxes we saw downstairs, so you can see where they stick up, sort of, up here. Oh man, look at that view. That view is just gorgeous. I mean, now part of it is because this is a pretty cool looking world, and the water just looks absolutely wonderful right now at this time of day. 
But still, I mean, as long as you're not on a broken down world, you're going to get that good look wherever. Looks like we got a bunch of LCDs up here. Bump, 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 stop. Don't know, does this side do something? I don't know. I, I saw arrows going from right to the left and then saying stop. Are we going to get anything from the left? What about that? Is that an LCD panel right there? What are you? You're an LCD 0.2 times 1. Does not look like that particular panel does anything. Oh, I did see a green arrow there. Let's come back to this side. So this is where we came up the stairs, of course. And somewhere around here would have been... Where was that elevator? Okay, right there. So that's where that would have come up. I see a door over here. Let's see what that is. Oh, bathroom at the top floor. That makes sense, you know. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go right now. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go! Let's go check out the stairs over here and see where that takes us. I think this will be the top floor, if I had to guess. Yep, this is just going to be a little observation deck overlooking the hangar bay. Oh man, this is... This is good. Another couch, another little coffee table, a ficus or something over here. Yeah, this would have been really good had I turned this to face a little more to the water. But, I mean, you know, now that you know, you just do that. Let's take a look at what we have in here, all of our devices. Now, nothing has been grouped, unfortunately, so we'll just go ahead and auto-group that. Four ammo boxes, 19 cargo boxes. I was really curious about that. 19 of those bad boys. Holy crap. We've got a tier one tank and two tier three fuel tanks. So that's going to hold a lot of stuff. Couple medic stations, couple oxygen stations, ventilator, all that sort of good stuff. Some ramps, couple turrets. Oh, interesting. Some motion sensors. I'm sure those are connected to the lights. If you wanted to build this thing, if I could find you, where are you? Right there. There you go. It actually doesn't take that much to build, which is kind of fascinating. This is a really cool design that I think with a little bit of time, you could actually gather all the materials for this fairly easily. If I could do that on a solo run, you can definitely do that. I mean, because I hate spending time mining and doing that sort of stuff. I just despise it. And if you have a couple people to help out with this, not a problem at all. So there you go. That is the ALB Velibit from Dubrovnik Dynamics. Do come back and check out a few more of the showcase videos I'm going to be doing. I'm not going to just be doing bases or just capital vessels. I'm going to do a little of everything. Although I probably will do more capital vessels than everything else because for my particular style of play, oh, check that out. That's where those guys were. I was wondering where they were. How do you even get up there? Hold on. Hold on! Hold the presses. How do you get up there? Oh, apparently you don't. <laughs> Alright, well, I was curious where those tanks were because I didn't see them. But anyway, uh, do come back. Check out some of the additional stuff I'm going to be doing. Check out the playlist if you want to see some more, and I'll catch you on another one. Dylan, thanks for watching. See you later.